Why, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your hosting guide, Zolan Iron Shield. And today, I'm going to show you an example of something, all right? So again, this isn't for, if you're not a Rise to War player, and you're my other viewers on the channel, don't worry about this video. You can, you can watch if you want. But it's still good for everybody for playing video games. Um, I wanted to cover this. I just want to do one or two disclaimers right off the bat. This particular player is in the group Yeet, who are a lot of my friends that I really like, okay? And again, I have nothing against this particular player. I just, there's a few things I want to point out, okay? What not to do in a conversation. I think now I realized he was trolling me. I thought we were having a good conversation about something, a dispute in the game with regions. It's a video game, guys. It really doesn't matter that much. But I still thought I was just gonna let it go. I'm like, oh, this actually might make a really good video for us to discuss this subject together. Um, Cause I think it's important in gaming still. I think it's important to have some integrity even in your gaming because then it will pour over into real life, okay? I know a lot of people like the excuse when they do something against someone or make up something or say something, they're like, oh, well, it's just a game. It's like, oh, sure, it's just a game. But what, would you do that in real life too? And then there's where the line blurs for some people. Most people wouldn't, but again, I want to talk about his today, okay? So again, disclaimer on that, great season. I'm having a lot of fun. We're actually, I'm usually, I've been on Yeet's team before their teams, a lot of people I know. I'm actually, I'm forgetting, I don't think I was actually in the Fellowship Yeet, but like 50% of their players, I was in their Fellowship last season. Um, and some of the players that are there now and that kind of stuff. I'm on the Banana Kingdom. We're having a pretty good season. It's a pretty big battle. We're technically on the losing end. We're quite outnumbered, but you know what? We're having fun and everyone has been pretty nice. But this one situation. So here's the thing. All right, here's the situation. I'll give you the facts. I'll give you a little from his side too, to be fair. Okay, so basically how it works, I'm gonna zoom in here. There's an area right here. I was told, we'll start with the, we'll start with the story, okay? I was told by this very nice person, I'd like to point out, he's in chaos. Uh, this person, uh, blank, uh, G -t -f, anyway, that's his name right there. Um, he messaged me, and in fact, I'm gonna show you the message because I don't think he'd mind. But um, I, he asked me, he said, we had a good battle, we had some fun. He's like, you want PvP? I'm like, sure. And he let me know that this was, uh, they have an understanding, uh, we're not supposed to attack that area, a couple different things. They said, we'll stop right here, okay? And I was told by a couple of people that this was the border, right here, okay? This was the border. So that's what I, that's what I knew. That's what to start with, okay? This is where it comes in. So we had a nice little thing. He had this crossing. I had this crossing. We had this tiny little territory that has almost no resource tiles except for these three big ones right here. And then technically, um, and then this area, right? That's how you get to this area, through this little crossing. So there's a crossing here, and there's a crossing here. Now you know the information. If you're not, an, even if you're not a Rice War player, you kind of understand. It's like a territory control game, right? Um, so we're like, okay, we're gonna have a deal, that kind of stuff, boom. So then I was a little worried and he, I asked him, I'm like, I'm a little worried people are going to hop to your spot and use it to jump over anyway and kind of ignore the treaty. And he's like, well, that might happen. I'm like, yeah, that might happen. Oh, well. Um, someone did. Uh, his name, his, his player CT um, is something with a big number. Um, I'll t go ahead and show you some of the conversation because I thought they were civil at first um, and they really were, but uh, we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. So this is the point of this, the point of this video right now is to what not to do as a Rise to War player in the community or whatever, um, you know, just have fun. You can troll a little, trolling's no big deal, but it all, we'll go into it. Let's go into the story a little farther. So he takes this area, right? I message him, right? This is like two days ago. I'm like, hey, you know, this is supposed to be the border spot. You know, we take this back. And he goes, well, no, we can take all the way to this other. He gives a new, a new premise to the deal, okay? And I'm like, oh, okay, well, did you talk to your leaders about that? He acted like he did, but I wasn't sure. I talked to one of the leaders. They seemed really busy, I understand. They can't be there for every little thing, okay? So again, I really like Yeet. All right, guys, so just throwing that out there to my friends over there. Um, don't worry, I do not. Everyone has one guy on their team that does something who just thinks it's a game, so he trolls people, that kind of thing. But again, let's go in a little, it goes a little farther than that, so let's keep going. Um, so he uh, takes this area. I start taking it back, right? Um, he goes, hey, that's our land. And I'm like, dude, I just told you, you broke the treaty and took our land, right? So he's trying to change the premise of the story. This is like how real wars start in real life, which is kind of sad. Things like this happen. 
Um, but again, he might not have known the original deal. And I told him that later. I'm like, well, maybe you didn't know the original deal. We'll go through the little chat thing here. Because I'm I'm going to go ahead and just show you because there's nothing private. And I didn't say anything that was like, again, when I talk to people, even if it's just one on one, I never say things that I would regret showing publicly later. So, and I, he, I don't think he said anything that would be a problem either. But I don't think he, uh, you know, doesn't really, you know. He's gonna message me the way he did, uh, he has to be ready for the consequences. But again, this video was not just to give him consequences. This video was to use an example of the situation that happens, okay? And what not to do, honestly, okay? And again, not just that, with misunderstanding, I kind of realized then he was trolling me, and I was asked some of my fellowship members, and I guess he's been trolling kind of everyone on the world chat, where I kind of stay out of the world chat because people, like, kind of go back and forth. Again, a little banter, a little fun back and forth, that's great, but, like, people who, like, change and lie about pe other people to like try to get a war to start in the game and like oh we you know this is the new premise you know we'll lie and say they did this that's not good that's where we that's where people shouldn't do that honestly i'm just the kind of person that i don't think unless you're playing a game that directly you know among us you have to lie right if you know that game i really don't think you should be lying <laughs> but again that's every individual person's choice but let's continue the story since i'm just blabbing away here um thank you for still being here where you are so anyway he goes to here and takes this, and then he basically tells me, oh, well, this crossing, well, we'll go through the thing in a second. Well, this crossing, we'll hold it here, you know? And I was like, well, the original treaty was here, so I kept taking tiles here, because I was like, I'm not just going to give it up. So I tried to talk to their leadership. They didn't really get back to me very much. One, He said one nice thing, their, their leader, but um, he's probably busy with other things, doesn't really care about this little tiny thing happening, which I understand. Um, but then... Um, then that person got, so we took this all back, and we put our forts here again. We didn't go any farther, and we stopped. And then he messages me, surprised and outraged. Oh, you took our land. And I'm like, bro, you can't you can't change the premise. That, that was our land. And until I hear otherwise from your leaders, I'm pretty sure he was just saying, he was basically saying, remove all your armies, remove all your tiles. This is the new thing. And then, basically, he immediately takes it back, and within five minutes, he goes and starts taking this land that is completely ours. And let me show you why, okay? So, he said he wasn't supposed to, he was only, his premise was that he was able to fight and take anything in Lame Dawn, this area, right? So, if you look, if I look at this fort right here, okay, that fort is in the border of this green, all right? So, technically, if I go to the edge here, it's kind of hard to go any better than, than that with the thing. Technically, this edge... I think, yeah, it is the border. So this little chunk here, which are these, these are the two crossings that are in dispute right here, right? Technically, this is in Lame Dawn. But remember, I told him, well, I know you have this premise to your story, but I was already told that this was the border, right? So I was like, that's it, that's it. And then I was, and then he was like, immediately though, and then he's like, well, you took that. And then his, then he immediately goes over here and look what he does. He starts taking all of our land that is in our border after he made his premise. So now, not only did he try to go against the original treaty, he's now breaking the treaty he gave to me, right? That's like, and I basically told him, I knew your original go was to go here anyway. And then he kind of started trolling a little bit and stuff. But anyway, let's go through his messages a little bit here, because it'll be fun. It's kind of fun. I was kind of thinking, maybe, uh, I rarely get bad YouTube comments, which is really nice. I really appreciate my subscribers. But um, I've had a couple in the past. It'd be kind of fun to go and make, you know, make fun of them, you know, kind of stuff. You know, a lot of YouTubers do that. Um, but again, I'd like to be a little bit more positive on this channel. So this isn't an attack on this person. This is an attack on that group. Just want to make that clear, okay? I'm not holding this person responsible for that whole group of Yeet. I'm not going to blame Yeet for this one person's what they said in actions, okay? I, that's nothing. I've been in groups where there's one guy who's a total jerk. And I'm like, I'm hoping people aren't basing their whole view of our group on that one person on 100 people, right? That That's going to happen. So anyway, let's go to the top here. All right, so you can see the dates and times, and we're going to look at it real quick, okay? I said, hey, man, you're not supposed to be attacking us. All right, this is, uh, oh, I don't know, what is it today? Today's the 6th. Uh, so this is like 24 or 25 hours ago, right? According When I'm making this video. According to your leaders, got told Lane done is fine. So he does his new premise, right? Um, and then we talk about it, right? This area is all lamed in, right? Okay, he shows this area. And I'm like, okay, well, that's true. <laughs> I hate how it does that. It pulls to the top every time you close it. So uh, we're just going to run through it here. Um, I said, well, you guys got mixed leadership saying things then. Because <laughs> that's the truth. Because I was just told that the, the border's over there. Remember? The other crossing. I said, uh, 
Ares confirmed it. Drop your tiles here. Their leader, which, by the way, I tried to talk to. Their leader never really said either way. He never really... I can show you. Um, again, I like Eat, and I have nothing against their leader, this person that he's talking to. I'm kind of actually wondering if he really did talk to him um, after what happens here next. So I said, he's a little high and mighty about this. Okay, so I was pretty civil in what I said here. And then he's like, I'm trying to hold our guys from the other group from crossing, but this isn't helping. So he's threatening me that other people are going to try to cross and break the treaty, but he's the one. He says, recall and drop your tiles you took. That you took like we broke the treaty okay so he's always trying to like he tried to make this premise right so i'm like okay well that's not the premise right i said are you going to take these tiles even though i was already told you would not because you are the one who needs to drop tiles that's what i said again pretty civil right aries said i again guys this is just a game but it's kind of fun it's a little fun drama right a little fun um uh i guess his leader said we can take this and but push no further I said, if another tile drops, I'll be pushing for Otter to continue hitting and, the cro the, and fr crossing further. I've already got Otter to stop. Very high and mighty. Now, again, I, the way I'm saying with my voice, right? But even if I read this very civilly, if another tile drops, I'll be pushing for... Just the way he says it is very, like, threatening and high and mighty, right? Right there. It's already, like, not very civil, even the way I said it very nicely. Um, and I said, so you're not going to push past this? And I basically say this spot, right? Like, I'm asking, I'm like, is this the new premise, right? And I'm already thinking this isn't very, very nice, right? I'm like, well, this isn't very nice how he's saying this. But I'm like, but you know what? Maybe I'm taking it wrong, right? I'll just keep trying to be nice. Uh, then I will drop tiles, I said. So the previous area, I will drop my tiles. I say that. So again, being really good about it, right? He said, no, I won't. We were told Linden would, could hit, but nowhere else. Recall your armies here and drop tiles. Okay, I'm like... It's okay, I am asking your leadership. If they say this, I will drop tiles. Give them a minute. Great fights, though, by the way. Question. Okay, so that was where it stopped many hours ago, okay? So, and then I asked their leader. This is their leader. Who, again, I have nothing against you, my friend. I He is very nice. In fact, in the future, I was actually planning on playing with Yeet again. Because um, I have, like, 50 people there I know. So, I said, hey, I was told by the guys... Uh, deal attacking, but this CT guy is not respecting it and keeps going. That this, yeah, just thought I'd ask. Thanks, man. And I linked him the spot. He's attacking here, right? And um, and then I'll ask them uh, now, bud. He said, "Okay, that was nice. I was told this area was not taken. CT is saying you said that we have to drop these tiles here, so I am, uh, so I'm not confused." Basically, I would drop the tiles is what I was saying, okay? It's not really... I was asking basically, like, are you going to drop the tiles there, right? Do you want me to? Uh, this person, who's the nice person, right, from the other fellowship, is the one who told me you guys would not take these. We don't have that much resource tiles for player versus player, blah, 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 blah. You guys are getting bored right now, so we're going to move a little faster. Uh, if they don't push past this, I will drop tiles on the other side. So again, nicely saying it, right, to their leader. And then, um, I think maybe he just didn't really read it all. I said, but I was told the border was here. Again, this spot. Okay. All right. Sorry, I have to keep bouncing back and forth. Um, he told me it was this. Uh, he was the one that told me, right? Um, so I, I asked him again later on because he didn't really... And then um, he said... Uh, and then I said, thanks for clearing this up. I'm being told different things from different members of Yeet. So I wanted to get your command. Basically, he's the leader. I want to hear it from him, right? I don't want to hear it from CT because honestly, at this point, I'm not quite sure if he's really getting that information or if he's just using the name, right? He says, pleasure, bud. So he just read the, the top part. I said, wait, what's your answer though? Ha ha. Little happy face, like a second later. Um, is this the border then from what I was originally told? So I'm, 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 I'm just asking, or do I have to drop all these tiles and we're going to make a new deal, right? For this side. Okay, so I talked to him there. So let's pop back over to CT, right? Okay, again, this is a little bit fun, honestly. I'm having a little fun telling you guys the story. And I'll be real, I'm trying to be really fair about it. Okay, I'm trying to, I'll give you, I'll give, I'm giving you his side too. I'll give you his side as well. Um, Because again, this isn't a, supposed to be super drama thing. This is just supposed to be information. All right. So, what not to do. Um, at this point, uh, we took back all the tiles because other people were already taking them. So this area, I had tiles, 
a couple other people were marching in against his stuff and retaking these tiles because that's what other people in my fellowship thought was the border too. So I went and took the last two tiles and we put some forts here said, please no cr crossing both sides. Okay, back at this spot. And then he seems outraged. He does question marks. You attacked and lamed on? So you see how he's kind of manipulating the situation here? I've already told him what the original treaty was. He's trying to give me a new treaty with a new... He's trying to push the line, right? Which again... That'd be fine if I really was getting some information from his leadership, right? Because at this point, it just seemed like he was being a little high and mighty about it and just wanted these tiles for himself. And I had a sneaking suspicion he was going to break it anyway and go over the next crossing a couple hours later. <gasps> oh, look! He did! Okay, anyway, sorry. <laughs> the sarcasm there, but it's just like... You know, it's kind of like, at a certain point, even with typing, you can start seeing a pattern of what people are doing. Um, obviously, when you're talking to someone in person, it's easier to read people with their inflections and how they say things. Um, but yeah. So anyway, I said, you act like we attacked you, but you broke the deal, not us. Don't act surprised. It's silly. But I'm done trying to reason with you. Do whatever you want. Uh, you will either way, obviously. Good fights, though. I just sent a happy thing. Like, I was like, because we have been having some good fights. And, like, that's the point of the game, having fun fighting, right? Um, with your, your characters. But I'm like, obviously, stop acting high and mighty because you just want to take this stuff. You don't care about anyone, including, apparently, his treaties that his teams have made. His fellowships, which are kingdom, right? So he's in a fellowship. There's another fellowship and a third fellowship. And they're a kingdom, right? Um, so, which is, like, 300 people mind you. So again, I'm not judging those other 300 people on what this person did. Just throw that out there for the other other kingdom. All right. Uh, lame done, we can take. We can't go anywhere else. And you started clearing us out of there. What? So you see what he's saying? He's trying to premise. So here's his premise that we have nowhere else to go to take more tiles. You know, this is where we're supposed to be able to take tiles. And it's like, but the treaty was not there, right? I'm like, that's so he's already, he's, now he's twisting the story, right? You see how he's twisting the, the story to be in his favor of his facts? He's like, well, this is the only place we can go. Mind you, this person does not have low resources. They are doing just fine. Just to point this out, my fellowship member pointed this out because I talked to them before I made this video. They're fine, okay? They got lots of area to get resource. And mind you, look at how many resources he has an hour. 198K, he is booking it i have a decent amount but i have forty-two thousand. he's got almost five times as many resources as me an hour he doesn't need more resources right so that's kind of a weird thing so why wouldn't he not just want to battle at this point right why does he need to keep getting more resources but again let's say he okay he wants to get more resources right let's continue the story here um so um then uh he said lame down we can take we can't go anywhere else that's what we just talked about uh, this is 100% not lame done. Okay? So, again, I'm not talking about the area that I'm disputing was the original territory thing. I'm talking about from his perspective now and his premise that this is within not it. Because he already broke in once, mind you, today. We pushed him out and he came back and did all this in the last hour or two. All right? <laughs> okay. So, got to make sure I'm telling the facts straight here or it's, you know. All right. So, um... I said, but that was your goal from the start. Basically, I'm calling him out on his bluff, all right? I'm calling him out that he never really was going to stop at this crossing, even though the original crossing was told the other one as the border. His premise that this would be the new border was never in his mind. I could already, at this point, I'm like, yeah, because he already crossed it once, right? He said, all this is where you hit. It's lame dog. Okay. All right. So again, he's not being very logical at this point, right? He's like throwing back stuff because he probably doesn't really have a very good argument, honestly, right? Just not a logical argument here. Uh, I gave you my word I wouldn't cross, okay? So he said he wouldn't give me my word about this. Well, his word has been broken. He has crossed twice in the last three hours. So again, this is what not to do as a Rise to Wall player, really, okay? Not 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 what to do. Um, really not what to do as a, as a person in general. Uh, give your word and then break it a minute later. I really don't think that's honored very much by most people. Um, so then I said, this was the border and treaty. You broke it. And you obviously were going for our land over next one. Please don't act like this is us. It's not becoming of you, right? <laughs> that's what I said, right? Again, very courteously, I might add. 
Um, that's I was, I was telling him this spot originally. All right, so then this. So then I say a little bit more, okay? In a nice way. Um, let's see. I said, uh, and then I said, yes, but I was told this, right? And that was, again, he said, um, uh, becoming of you, I, but I was told this, all right? Again, this area was ours kind of thing. It's, uh, again, I hate how I have to scroll up every time. I'm sorry, guys. Um, this crossing was the spot, so uh, all you want to deal with it. My phone sometimes changes spellings when I'm writing it, so if it's not done right, the sentence, that's why. It drives me crazy. I'm um, sorry. This was on my phone when I was doing this. Uh, so say all you want it is a deal, you broke it, right? I and I said, talk with this guy, basically the guy who originally told me what the original deal was. He said that was the crossing, again, over here on the left. He also said you guys are pushing on your own basically and okay so pushing on your own and then i will go ahead and show you here what he was saying so again he was really nice he told me the original info up there and then he said uh hit me up if you ever want to do fighting and i'm like all right cool sounds good i said cd is attacking i'll have to fight him back basically is what i said do you know if uh is there is different people saying things because you said you would respect the peace thing but cd says they told him it's okay to take this this area this middle area okay he said, I think Yeet is trying to ruin the season. I don't fully agree with this statement. He's really nice, but um, I, I don't think Yeet is trying to ruin the season. I do know that CT has been saying a lot of stuff in the world chat, so maybe some of the other Yeet members should tell him, you know, maybe chill out a little bit with your trolling there. Um, I said, yeah, the CT guy is being lame. I do know being kind of a meanie. A lot of Yeet are great, though. Okay, so I'm sticking up for you, Yeet, because... I love a lot of you guys. You guys are great. Uh, anyway, so moving on. Um, and also, like, Chunks was one of my leaders for Fire for a long time. He was originally from Yeet. I think he might be back in Yeet. You're out there, Chunks. Miss you. Um, I'm going to have to play with you guys again in future seasons. But I'm really enjoying being with Banana, by the way. They're very nice people. Uh, it's been a fun season. A lot of nice people on all sides. This is a very odd scenario, okay, out of what's been happening this season. Most people have been great. Um, so now let's continue on here with what I was talking about to finish the story. We're almost done. Um, that's, we already talked about that. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. And then, um, oh, okay. Here's what I said a little bit more. Here's the thing I said to him. Uh, sorry. Finding my spot here. Talk with the guy. Okay. Talk with the person that originally told me. I said, here's the thing. I'll respect your new location. So we don't have to fight for the next three days if you want to, which is, this border that he originally said was his location the crossing i linked it that spot i said but just because you're making a new spot you have to understand the previous thing already stood okay now if you don't know about it i understand if he didn't know about it in the first place um i also don't want to fight over this spot because i'm getting kind of bored honestly if i'm in the same spot i'd like to go somewhere else <gasps> honestly um it's been fun battles but it's kind of hard just to fight the same like one or two people over and over um, and that I said, but you will definitely, uh, secure the fact that I am, uh, s definitely, excuse me, I'm having troubles even reading right now. The fact that I am um, correct that this was your total goal from the start. If you take this area, basically you will secure the fact that like, I know his original goal was to break even his own treaty and take this area. But if we want to come to a common ground between, I will drop my tiles, meaning drop my tiles in this area. Right? So I'm, I'm giving him a big, you know, out card in this situation all right and then uh all right um i said in the area you know specifically as the new deal which is this area but you have to make it very clear and please tell others so others don't just leapfrog to your location so even if he ended up respecting his de own deal i was afraid other people would ignore it and just come and take the area anyway because look at all these delicious looking resources they're all big tiles if you don't play the game it just means big tiles they give you lots more resources okay um and then at this point i realized he was trolling okay that he's a troll troll meaning if you don't know what troll means it means someone who just is like having fun messing with people right on the internet they really don't care I talked about this in a previous video on YouTube, like with about comments. You remember a long time ago? If you're not, if you wouldn't do something to someone's face, don't do it to them online. I mean, I know people do, and they think it's funny. And a lot of younger people, maybe this person's younger. I don't know. Maybe this person is, you know, a high schooler. Maybe that's why he's not really super great on his 
his um, premises and facts, but or maybe not. Maybe he's not. Um, but the fact is, then he makes this comment. He says, unsubscribe, right? And by the way, if you're watching this right now, you should all subscribe because it's a great channel. Uh, we're here on Rise to War content, Lord of the Rings content. But I said, what's that supposed to be, his silly face? At this point, I'm giggling, okay? Because I'm thinking, like, for one, I guess this guy knows my channel. Is that his comment, right? Is he's trying to, like, I said, you think this is somehow a, th a threat? I do a little fix here. My phone changed the treat. I said, I don't need people who break treaties as my subscribers. Have a nice life, though. Happy face, little bug. <laughs> right? So at this point, I'm just te teasing him back. He says, a subscriber for what? And then I just do question marks. At this point, with these two comments, I know he's trolling. This this guy is at, at seriously having a conversation with me. He's going to do what he wants to do. He's going to lie about things, and he's going to break his treaties. His own word. Not his fellowship's treaties. Well, technically, he did break one of his kingdom treaties. Again, the original information came from me, from a member of his other fellowship in his kingdom. But that other person said a lot of their members are doing things against what they're making deals with. Okay? Again... I really like Yeet. This is not an attack on Yeet. I a lot of them are my friends. Um, so there's kind of the whole story on that. I then talked with some of my... Um, oh, and I forgot. I did talk in here a little bit. Um, I basically said, hey, guys. Uh, can You you guys saw this if you're in Yeet, right? If you're in this channel. I, I like to talk with my friends here. And by the way, just so everyone knows that I'm in this group... Um, I, if I ever hear anything in this group, I never say this to my fellowship. So, like, if someone... With, I, no one ever talks about private stuff outside of their private chats anyway for fellowship, I hope. Um, I never say anything, obviously. But um, even if someone did and I knew him from another fellowship and I, like, it would give us an edge, I never say anything. Because that would be very unhonorable. So, just so you know. Um, that's why they allow me to be in this chat with them still. Uh, again, I don't know if they're all in the other groups, but... Um, we had a little bit of conversation here. This was in between things. I said, but he is uh, not blah, blah, blah. You can kind of read it for yourself. Cross into our spot. I think he's trying to use us, taking your spot as a reason to go basically take it back. Um, he, then I really see he's trolling, right, with this conversation. It's just because a finger pointing thing is driving me crazy. He seems nice. Again, that was, he seems nice. I said in the group chat about CT, right? So I'm still being kind. But was a little high and mighty about it, right? Which I've shown you in this video now. He was a little high and mighty at the beginning of the conversation. He said, God told the agreement when Landon was fine. That is lame on. He, like, shows it again. It's like, okay, right? <laughs> and then, um, and then I said, you are being very manipulative about the facts. Because he is, all right? He is. I said, I'm pretty much tired of dealing with it. So I'm not, I'm just not going to talk about it anymore. I'll go play somewhere else. <laughs> Basically, like... I'm just going to leave because this isn't really that important, right? But again, it was a great thing to show you guys here on the channel for a Rise to War. What not to do as a Rise to War player, right? Again, this is just kind of a fun analytic way to look at things, right? Again, as you can tell, I am not at all bothered by this person. In fact, I find it quite hilarious, actually. Um, being a YouTuber now for a few years, I'm learning to realize that some people, you just got to just let it roll off because... They're trolling you. They don't know the whole situation. They're just those kind of people that splurt things out on the internet and don't really care what happens, like a Twitter user or Facebook. You know, you know what I'm saying, right? You get what I'm saying. Again, that's not a tech on those platforms either, but you understand what I'm saying. It's that person, right? They can be like, you're like, Ugh. don't let those people get to you, okay? So that's another thing for people watching. Don't let those people get to you, okay? Again, I almost didn't make this video because I was like, well, I don't really want to you know, show him, him, but of course, I guess if, if he knew my channel and subscribed, he's not gonna see this anyway, so, <laughs> um, but you know, that's how it goes, right, again, it's so funny that he thought that was a threat, it's like, yeah, okay, my friend, you're gonna leave, and another 15 people are gonna join the same day, I'm not worried about it, uh, <laughs> I only want subscribers here who love Lord of the Rings content and like positiveness, and don't break deals, even in their games, right, um, so, moving on, moving on, uh, this is not, but that was your goal from the start, so I told you the original information was told to me on where the border was, okay? So I basically said in the all chat, this is what you were going for. Like, I know. You can no longer fool me, right? Um, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. He didn't really fool me. I gave him the benefit of the doubt, and I realized he was trolling, and he had an original goal from the start, 24 hours earlier, right? I said, you can't change it on your own. Then take basically the treaty. It's up here. I said that. 
um, then take the land, then be frustrated that we take it back, and then use that as an excuse to go farther, right? And he said, can someone shut this guy up? Yawn, 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 right? And then uh, more, I like this guy, by the way. This is one of my friends. So he's like, lamp. <laughs> his lies i said <laughs> i said you are a true piece of work <laughs> basically about this guy because at this point he knows he's lost the argument and um he's just he's pulling it he's grasping his straws here as the saying goes right isn't that the saying yeah um i said your true colors are pretty terrible ct haha <laughs> you're the reason rise to war players get a bad name <laughs> little silly face but literally that is, this is the reason why they get a bad name, okay? This is why sometimes when people play Rise of War, they're like, oh, the game has trolls in it like crazy. It's like, guys, it's not the majority of us players, okay? Our first Rise of War players. Most are really nice. They'll work out deals later in the game to make sure people, some people can get rewards. You can't always do that. It's a, it's a battle game taking over things. It's not always going to work out for everyone, but... It's not the majority of us, okay? So I'm sticking up for the Rise to War community here just to tell you guys that it is definitely not all Rise to War players. And again, please don't go all in on CT, guys, in the comments, or I just, just don't, okay? He might, he's honestly probably just trolling. If he sees this and maybe has a change of heart, that's awesome. If he wants to leave a comment about that, great. If he says something mean, I have the powers. <laughs> this is my living room. Um... Don't worry, I said, don't worry, Yeet. I still love you guys. Also, I know CT is trolling here. At this point, it has to be that. <laughs> so we'll end with that, right? So that's about it. That's the story. That's what's going on. So to sum things up, I didn't know this movie video was going to turn into like a 30-minute video. But that's the story. That's what happened. Um, that's the facts. So his premise, again, to be fair to him, his premise was he was told he could take anything up to, to lame dog right? Which was this crossing, this area. But I was originally told, and what I was trying to convey to him, that the original border was here, according to this person and a few other people who mentioned it to me, that they were going to stop here. And so we didn't cross this border. I originally took this border and was moving over this way. They took it back, and then he told me, oh, we're not going to cross this. And I was like, okay, I won't push back. So I stopped there. Then CT came, right? He, he takes all this. Then CT says, oh, well, I can take all the way to this. And I said, okay. And then we had the whole back and forth. I wasn't quite sure if it was true. I never really got a heavy, I never got an answer really from the leadership if this really was what they said. I had to believe it all on what he was saying. And again, I gave him the benefit of the doubt, but the way he was acting high and mighty, I kind of was feeling like there was something else there. He had another goal from the typing. And then I guess what? And then he said he'd give me his word he would not cross this border. He crossed it this few hours ago, we took it back. He crossed it again and started taking all of our tiles. So, moral of the story is, it's good to give people the benefit of the doubt, but don't be naive, which I was not. I, I saw it from the beginning, what was happening here. Um, you can give people a few chances, but at a certain point, if they totally break their word, what even what they say, right? And again, I was very justified in taking this land back originally because that was the original border, right? And I didn't get a hard answer from their leader, okay? Again, not against their leader. He's very nice. You know, I might be playing with them in the future. Again, that's not the reason. I'm not trying to be, you know, oh, I'm, you know, it's okay. I'm going to play with you guys. I am, you know, I'm just saying he didn't do anything wrong. He just honestly didn't answer, which was fine. But um, it kind of caused this problem to get worse because I wasn't sure about CT with what his intentions were. And then, of course, he promised he wouldn't take this. And then, with this situation over here, I think he used it as an excuse. He kind of egged it on so that he then broke it immediately, twice. And it was like... So we took this... And by the way, just to mind you, he, we took this. All right, he took this. He went across the first time. This was after he already promised he wouldn't cross. Then we pushed it back, took all of it back, and he came back later, took it, and pushed it again. So, he did it twice. So, pretty hard evidence against him, guys. The jury's out, I think, on this one. Um, again, I'm being very fair in how I said this, and I'm not here to attack that person who did this, okay? Um, but I thought it was a really good example of what not to do. Again, he might just honestly be trolling and not care, because... I was then told by my team right here, I'll, I'll show you this. I said, he's being very manipulative. I said, um, I'm trying to, uh, <laughs> oh, 
Oh, uh, I, I, and then I asked him about if they should I make this video, right? And, uh, and, and Doug Dale was like, yeah, you can make it. I mean, reasonable. And I was like, yeah, I just, I'm not going to be raging about it, obviously, because I really wasn't from the beginning. I never was raging about it. Um, I said, it's obviously not going to make a video just raging, because honestly, if you're pretty funny at this point, but it's also a really good example of what not to do, which is the whole point of this video, guys, what not to do. All right. I thought I, I ping it. And then my one friend here, Maximus says, he has 198,000 production. It's not enough for him. Basically, the guy who's going over here to take care of stuff. And Doug was like, I 100% agree. So thank you for that, you guys. Um, so I got a little bit of counsel there. I was like, okay, I'll make a video about it. Um, but yeah, there we go. We covered it. Thanks for, if you watch this whole video, that's very impressive. Um, again, my channel is very positive. We rarely cover subjects like this, but again, I think I covered it a very fair, very nice way. Again, I'm not angry at anyone. I'm a little disappointed. You know, he promising he's not going to do it and he does it anyway, but you know what? Some people in the world are not always going to keep their word. And they're going to be very manipulative and switch the what's happening and that kind of stuff. So don't do that. That's the things not to do. Okay, if you watched the whole video, thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment what you guys think, you know. Um, yeah, just don't do this. <laughs> don't do things like this. It doesn't matter if it's just Rise to War, any game. Don't, don't change the premises on people if it's already been solid, especially by a leadership position. Don't be like, oh, well, no, it was actually here. And it's like, okay. And if someone says, well, we were told here, then go and talk to the leader. Maybe go talk to the leader. If, if I were CT, I would have said, hey, can you message Voice of the Rings and tell him that you did say that this is the border that we decided on? And and, and he messaged me, yeah, yeah, Voice, that was this what we decided on. And I would have been like, fine. And I would have been like, all right, no worries. I was told this, but that's okay. I removed all my things, as you saw, right? Um, but that wasn't his goal. CT wasn't in the mood for making friends and being honorable to their treaties. He was uh, eyeing these treasures, basically. All right, so there we go. We covered that pretty well. So that's what not to do, guys. Don't don't manipulate situations. Don't belittle people. Don't, um, uh, and again, I have a much broader influence, obviously, than he does for Rise to War as a YouTuber with a lot of followers for Rise to War. Um, but again, I'm not using my power by power here to just be like ha ha i'm right that's not the goal of this video okay the goal of this video is to talk about really what you shouldn't do and this is not a video even to scold him okay i don't want to make him feel bad ct if you watch this whole video or something this is not to make you feel bad okay please don't do that in the future to other people it's not cool don't be like high, all high and mighty about things don't slightly manipulate the story if someone tells you that they had a different information have a little more communication in that moment which you guys saw he didn't really have and talk about it like and be like oh okay here's my leader i'll have the message you you know what i mean because he just said oh well he told me it was all of lambdon right well that's very all in companies to sing that area is very large and right now we technically own this location we just don't have one of the forts right here and that's why we don't control it with our color okay we technically own this right now so again that's another weird thing to say on the side there right but uh there we go we covered it. You get the point. Don't do these kind of things. Be respectful to your teams. I don't. No matter what game you're playing, honestly, guys. And uh, most of my subscribers, you honestly all know this already. You're great subscribers. And thank you so much for subscribing, liking. Quick little shout out. And thanks to my patrons for their support. Thank you so much, you guys. Uh, if you guys want to play Rise to War anytime with me, you can join our Discord. Any of the um, the live streams. Uh, we also, if you want to play Lotro, Lord of the Rings Online, in our kinship on Crickolo, you can join that too. Um, but yeah, if you go to any of my live streams, there will always be a link to Discord down there in the bottom for you to check out and click and get in there. Um, so thank you so much. Subscribe buttons there. Next episode will be up there for Rise to War. And over there is Lord of the Rings Online and Lotro Tale. We're doing voiceovers in the Lord of the Rings Online. Again, thank you so much for listening, guys. And if you're one of my regulars watching this, you don't really play Rise to War. I'm impressed you got to the end. So thanks so much. Um, hopefully I gave some good pointers on things there what not to do it was a fun little story to tell you anyway that's kind of fun little back and forth in this game it just becomes hard if people manipulate the original facts or blatantly break a promise or a lie right which is what you shouldn't do so all right i gotta add this one thing right here at the end a little bit more to the story all right um uh he goes all right this is this is where we ended right with the story he goes i thought you didn't want to fight over this right with the the tiles over here i'm like 
ah, oh, because I was taking Tiles just to slow him down. For, he's like, I'm like, ah, oh, having too much fun stopping you. I knew your original goal was to take our lands past Lemadon. I didn't spell that right, but I then realized you were trolling me all along. I said, if you were going to cross this from the start, you should have just said so. This spot, right, that we talked about the whole time. And then I go, and then I go, up in flames, I guess. And I quote his thing. I gave my word I wouldn't cross. <laughs> and then he's like, it wasn't my intentions until I found out the agreement. Then I stopped at Lame Dawn. What does he mean? He stopped at Lame Dawn when he found out the agreement. He's in, he's, this is past Lame Dawn. This area is, that was his original premise, right? We just had this 40 minute video about it. This is a few minutes later when I'm adding this on. But now he's going across here. Again, I'm not angry at him. I'm not angry at him. If he watches this, I'm not angry at you. I'm just, I don't honestly, then I say, you're really bad at explaining your side. I am at a loss really. Cause I am, I'm, I don't get what he's trying to say with these comments. Maybe he, maybe it's a language thing. Is it translating? It doesn't say it's translating. So he's obviously writing in English cause otherwise I'd have to click translate to change it. Um, I said, you did not stop at Lame Dawn. That point is over and in the past, you passed it two times. So but when he said he promised he passed and then we took it back, he passed again and then gave the reason that all oh, we attacked sort of a reason. He didn't really say that directly. I'm like, so I understand your premise, I told him, that this was the border. I also gave you mine, the original deal, which we talked about at the beginning. You then gave me a new one, then also broke the new one. So he not only did he break the original one that I told him we had, he then gave me this one and promised and broke this one, right? As a new one. So I am at a total loss, which really I am. I, I don't understand what his reasoning is and what this even means with these comments. Um, I am not mad at you. I'm really not, CT, if you, re if you watch this or anyone in the... I'm not mad at it, okay, guys? Just so you know. Um, I just don't get your thinking and reasoning at all, which is honestly like what I was saying in this video, right? I don't get it. I'm like, what? Why are you doing this? This is the way not to do in Rise to War, okay? You also kind of trolled me a few times, so I stopped think, uh, thinking you're really being real with me, okay? Because honestly, like, I talked, you, you see the change in the tone, right? He's a little bit at first condescending, and then he's just telling, demanding me that I need to remove my tiles and stuff without really giving me any just saying well he said so i'm like well who said so just have them in a box obviously i know that's their leader's name but i really wanted the info from their leader right at this point because i had info from other leaders that the other spot was the original spot okay so that's what was important he says my reasoning was lame don that's all simple okay so this is his last statement this is his most recent statement he gave this like a minute ago all right and i'm just gonna say to finish up okay because at this point, I cannot follow his logic. He has no premise. He has no, there's no real thought pattern going on. If he's just in an echo chamber in his own mind, from what I can see. You all know what that means. I'm assuming echo chamber means that you're having a bounce around of thoughts um, with another, pr only a couple other people yourself, and you're all agreeing with yourself and only thinking your own thing. And you can't see outside your own premises to see what other people are talking about, even if that's to agree to disagree with someone, right? You just can't see what from their perspective, right? Again, I'm trying really hard to see from his perspective at this point, but it just, I can't figure it out. Because again, he's saying, well, that's lame Don. This is not lame Don. This crossing is 100% in Dor and Arnil, okay? So, again, like, I, I don't, like, I don't understand <laughs> what his premise is, right, at this point. Uh, this is Dorn, I, I'll have to copy it. Dorn L, I don't think I can, can I keep it there and look at it later? No, it goes away. Gosh, that's a hard name to remember there. Dorn, I'm like on the spot with the video, right? Dor N Ernil, all right? Dor N Ernil is this location. So, um, I really just, I don't quite understand the logic there. And again, his arguments back being not, not fighting arguments as in like a debate, just not there, just not there. And again, I'm not holding him against that. That's not a problem. It's the fact that he even gave his word again, what I said here, I'm like up in flames, your word up here at the top, which again, if you click this, it goes up to that original spot where he said, I promise we won't pass lame Dawn, which is this crossing. This is technically in lame Dawn. This is technically not. The original treaty was not 
just all of Lamedon, which I was telling him it was here at this point. So this little chunk of land in Lamedon was technically ours still in the original treaty. Again, not that big of a deal, but I just wanted to be a little fair and add on this last five minutes um, to the video because he added a little bit more and we talked a little bit more. But again, I wanted to just show you that I want to give him a fair shake that like, oh, he said something else later and I didn't put it in. I didn't want people to think that, right? Or, or myself. I wanted to be fair to him, right? Yeah, it sure is, but you guys cleared me out from lane done, so it'll do the same. See? Look at this. Look at this attitude he has right here, okay? <laughs> it's so funny, dude. If it happens again, I'll push further. Simple. Oh, so he is the overall god of the game, is what's going on here, okay? So again, he doesn't have a real argument. It's kind of fun that I made this video, right? Because it's just showing the spotlight of... You know, how fair-minded I'm being towards this person, and how not fair-minded this person is being towards me, right? But again, this is what not to do, guys, in Rise to War, like what this guy is doing here. This is not cool. Again, normally when there's any drama in this game, I don't report on it, right? I just think that's silly. But at this point, it was a simple, small thing that wasn't affecting a big group of people. It was just me and one other person. So I thought this was a good example to show people what not to do. Because this happens sometimes, and honestly, it can become stressful to a lot of people, and it makes a lot of people not want to play the game, right? But again, this doesn't happen all the time, guys. And if someone does do this to you, you can block them. Again, I'm not going to block him because I, I'm, I'm open to hearing people's information. But this is weird to me because, again, he has premised the story all about he made a thing that he knew would get broken so that he could use that as a reason to do his original agenda, which was to take this land. It was his original thing from the beginning. I'm, I'm in no... There's 90% of my mind is now on the fact that he originally meant to take this land, okay? He never was going to stop, right? So that was a lie in the first place with the with the with what he was saying about that. Or he's telling himself that, like I was saying the echo chamber idea, he's telling himself that, well, you know, this is the thing. And he's not hearing what I'm saying, that the original deal was this was area. And when we took it back, after, by the way, he pushed into this first, I'd like to point out. He took this and went in. And then pushed it from what I'm remembering. Is that, is that correct? I'm trying to remember what happened today. Yeah, I think that's what happened. And then we pushed and took this back. We're like, that's the area. And then he came and he pushed it. And now he's using that as an excuse that we took these tiles. That now he's going to take all of our tiles. But look, he still hasn't made sense to what these are. These reasoning. Well, then I stop at Lame Dawn. No, you didn't stop at Lame Dawn. And now he's trying to make an excuse for his actions, right? Again, I don't think he ever meant to stop in the first place. But, you know, this is what's important, too. And maybe people will think about it in the future. Because, you know, who you're talking to. Because you may be using an example of what not to do <laughs> in a certain situation. Um, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, sorry to add some more time on there. But I wanted to give you a little bit more stuff. Um, should I just... Uh, this is just for fun. <laughs> that's the last thing I'm going to say you'll probably never know what it means <laughs> thanks for the example have a good one man but honestly like have a good like if he sees this like I'm, it's not an attack on you it just you have to realize this was the these are the premises and you are building facts that just don't exist right and again, he could have his alternate facts as in because he didn't have information, the original information. But he should have listened to me if he was being fair-minded and a good, nice player and been like, oh, that was supposed to be the original spot? Okay, right? He just demanded that I removed all my tiles. And then later he's like, well, my leader said all of Lindon. And then the moment we didn't get information back from their leader and he pushed in here and we took this back, he then uses that as an excuse to push into his original goal, which was to take all of this. It's pretty obvious now. Um, so anyway, uh, we'll end it there, my friends. Again, I'm not going to talk to him more. It's a waste of my time at this point. Uh, he obviously doesn't see through his own echo chamber there. But have a great day, wonderful Middle Earth. And again, one last comment. Please do not, guys, attack him. Or Yeet is a great group. I love them. There's a bunch of wonderful people that I know who I've known for like six seasons in that group. They're wonderful. Okay? Which is why I stuck up for him on that other person on their kingdom I was saying that and by the way he was not saying about the whole kingdom because he's a really nice guy and I don't want to like throw him under the bus that he made that comment okay just throwing that out there too that um 
he was just, I think he was worried about the people in all chat, like CT, this person, saying things that were causing divisions and making, you know, people upset on all kingdoms, right? Because we're allied with some other nice kingdoms down here. And he was afraid they're going to, you know, they're going to cause problems because they're having, we're having fun games. And if someone starts saying bad things and lies and things and manipulating things, it makes everyone get angry at each other, right? Which shouldn't happen, but that happens in a war game, right? Happens in any video game. People get heated in video games. That's how it goes. I'm usually pretty calm and collected in most games I play, you know, 95% of the time. But um, there's times I get frustrated people, but I, you, you never catch me cursing at people and getting angry. I'm just not, I just don't do that. Um, but yeah, of course I get frustrated and upset at things, especially when people are saying things that are like, why, like, what the heck? Why are you saying that? Like, <laughs> that's not logical, right? With again, what he's saying here. So, um, but you know what? It's under the water now, under the bridge. Yes, I'm gonna slow him down and have fun. And we'll uh, see later on. We'll probably get this back because I have, I have other people come in. We're going to probably take it back later. So, um, so guess we'll have the last laugh there. But again, that's not the point of the video. You know. Have a great, wonderful day in Middle Earth. Again, thanks to my patrons. One more time, subscribe button over there. Stay happy. Stay positive. Baruch Kazak, who's on menu. And I'll see you all in the next episodes of Voice of the Rings. See you guys. Again, stay happy, guys. Don't let anyone like this ever bug you either.